baby. Welcome to today's episode of Ask Alexa. Thank you for tuning in, or if you're uh, tuning in after this has been uploaded, thanks for checking me out. So today we are talking about snacks, crunchy, salty, carby snacks, potato chips. And what um, suggestions are there if you um, are on a particular diet or like Weight Watchers or something like that and you can't have potato chips because they're too carby or they're high in fat or something like that. What other types of alternatives are there? Well, there are lots of alternatives. Um, definitely something that you would have to get used to or something that um, be a different flavor and a different taste, obviously than potato chips but really the the thing that we like about potato chips are that satisfying crunch the texture and the salt and all those good things that come with a nice fresh bag of potato chips <laughs> um that's what we're looking to substitute right so if you want to do that the one the few things that you can do are is to bake um vegetables. So, for example, you've heard of kale chips, right? Those were hot, I think last year or the beginning of last year, the end of last year, everybody was making kale chips. Well, kale chips are pretty awesome. They actually taste really good. You can season them different ways. You can um, put nutritional yeast on them to make them cheesy if you're vegan, or you can put Parmesan cheese on them to give that extra bit of saltiness to them. But the other thing that people are not as familiar with is that you can make other vegetable chips. And I don't just mean parsnips and beetroot chips and sweet potato chips, which are very common and everyone loves doing. And if you haven't done it yet, I would definitely suggest making them. Other vegetables that you can utilize in order to make potato chip substitutes out of, butternut squash, tomatoes, zucchini, cucumber, Brussels sprouts, just the little leaves on the Brussels sprout. You can separate, it's a little tedious, but you can separate it and you can lay it out on a sheet and bake it. Same thing with spinach, the baby spinach. All the, the things that are most important when you are making vegetables into chips, and I will post a few recipes. Um, the first is, if you are cutting up a root vegetable, like a beetroot or a butternut squash, you want to make sure that you slice it very thin, either an eighth inch or a sixteenth of an inch. You can use a mandolin or you can use a really good potato peeler or you can use a super, super sharp knife. Sharp knives are really important in the kitchen. And then you want to cut them as thin as you can, but not too thin where you're just getting little slivers, but you want to try and cut nice rounds. And then you're going to take your baking sheet, lay a piece of parchment on your baking sheet. You can either spray it with pan spray or um, pour a little bit of olive oil on it and then brush the olive oil all across your baking sheet and then simply shuffle out or lay out the vegetables, the sliced vegetables onto the parchment sheet. Don't overlap anything because that's going to defeat the whole purpose of you making a nice crispy chip. Separately on a single layer, um, they can be touching just a little bit, but not a lot. Um, just lay them out and then you want to spray or brush more olive oil on top of that. Sprinkle it with salt and pepper or some other herbs and then you can put it in the oven. Now there are two ways to do it. You can do high heat for a short amount of time which would be the temperature of 375 degrees for about 20 minutes, rotating the pan halfway, so 10 minutes. Take it out, turn the pan, put it back in, another 10 minutes. Or you can put it at a lower temperature um, for a longer amount of time. For example, a 200 degree oven for maybe an hour, hour or two. Um, there are pros and cons to both. If you use high heat, short amount of time, it could burn a little bit. If you use low heat, um, it's going to take a longer amount of time, um, a more more uh, time investment there. So it's really up to you on how you do it. But those are some really good alternatives. What I'll do is post some recipes. You can check it out. You can try it out. You can let me know what you think. Um, but remember, they're not potato chips, but they are a really good substitute. 
And if you are conscious, if you have consciously made a decision to stop eating, eating certain things, you are going to work hard to ensure that whatever, whatever substitute you select is going to work. Um, and that's really all it is. It's, it's once you decide, make that decision to make a change for your lifestyle is the most important decision of your life. As um, my friend always have said, has said or has said within the last year, his one of his famous quotes is, impose your wills on your wants. And by doing that, you can improve so much. And this is not just about food, but it is our daily lives where we decide to do something that we know is better for us, but we don't necessarily want to do it. Just go ahead and do it and get it taken care of. So on that note, look out for the recipes. I will put them probably underneath this post as well as link them in a couple of other places. Thank you so much. Keep the questions coming and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy. Peace.